Hi there, my name is Trinity and today I'm going to take you on another weekly reading vlog. Today is Monday and I am a little late to the game. It is seven o'clock, so it's a little late to start reading today, but um, I thought I wanted to do another little reading vlog because I don't know why they just, oh, because I don't know why, I just like them. They're a whole heck ton of fun and I feel like it makes me more productive with my reading. So today is Monday, March the 27th, 2023, and I am currently reading From Look Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. This is on my TBR for the month and I kind of forgot about it entirely which is so fun, but I'm, I think I'm on the, like, I'm almost in a reading slump, if that makes sense. I just really feel like I'm almost there. I just finished the Carnival Trilogy by Stephanie Garber, and I ordered the next two books in that, so hopefully I'll get those this week, and I can read those this week, but in the meantime, I am just knocking off some books on my TBR, so I'm reading From Luck Off With Love by Mariana Zapata. Here's my laptop. I know we've seen her before, but... I was very intimidated coming into this book because she's got a very big following and everyone really loves her books. But this one, we we're following Jasmine Santos who grew up figure skating. She wants to be like a professional figure skater. She, from what we know, has done singles her whole life and then she went into pairs and then something bad happened in pairs. So now she's kind of just, she can't decide if she wants to like quit or not, but she doesn't want to quit. She just like, yeah, she doesn't want to give up on her dreams. And then we have Ivan Lukov, who is the same guy. He's like a guy in her rink, I guess. And he, they hate each other. Like they actually hate each other. And it's kind of amazing. The banter is so good, really good. I can really tell that they really don't like each other. And that is amazing. But the first, like almost a hundred pages, we, I don't know. I didn't really like the first 100 pages because I think I was like forcing myself to get into it. But then they started arguing and I was like, oh, this is interesting. This is some good stuff. And it is. That is my little update for Monday. We are going to read From Luck Off With Love. I'm on page 145. And I have the Indigo edition. Isn't it so pretty? Gorgeous. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I am currently in the process. I'm currently in the process of uh, scheduling some videos to come out. I'm really excited. Thank you to everyone who's subscribed recently. You're all amazing and I'm so excited you're here. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Let's get into reading for Monday. Yay! We have an issue and it's not a big one. It's not really an issue. And it has nothing to do with the book and the writing itself. But whoever manufactured this book, like why? I can barely open it. I'm like fighting for my damn life to open the book. The amount of times I've done that and it doesn't work. That's my only thing. I have reached page 194 and I'm feeling some stuff. So obviously it's enemies to lovers. Forced proximity. There's like a teeny bit of fake dating, but not really fake dating in this nice little romance here. I'm really starting to appreciate Ivan. Like before they were like fighting and I just, they was like, oh my God, asshole. He's such an asshole is what I was thinking. But he's starting to do some like nice stuff and I can't tell if I like it or not. I just, I can't, the banter is absolutely getting me. It is so cute. Page three 
56. There are 472 pages in this book. I have been listening to playlists that people make like based on books recently and it is amazing. It is an immaculate reading experience. I find I read so much quicker when I've got music going on that's like relates to the book kind of. So it is Monday night. I only have like 120 pages left and it's 1047. I think I can finish it tonight. I don't need to finish it tonight, but I definitely think I could. Let's have a quick chat. It is most definitely almost one in the morning and I did indeed finish From Look Off With Love by Mariana Spada. Very quickly, I did devour it a little bit. This book was so good. I don't have a rating yet. I don't know what my feelings are yet. I do just wanna say I am in love with them and their love. And you could just like really feel their love if that makes any sense. I was listening to music mo the entire time I was reading this book and it was immaculate. Mwah. My headphones did die near the end and a few songs had me in my feels, but like I heard she's a slow burn queen. Definitely delivers with the slow burn. And I think I really appreciate it because then I fall in love with the characters even more. And then like when they fall in love, you like really root for them because you know, you know them so well. Tuesday, I've had my coffee. I'm watching The Bachelor. I will be going to work at some point, but I need to pick another book because last night we finished From Luck Off With Love. And yes, I figured out what it reminded me of and TikTok seemed to agree. It is very much the Canadian figure skating pair, Tessa and Scott. If you don't know what that is, Google Tessa and Scott Moulin Rouge 2012 Olympics. You're welcome. You're welcome, go look that up. It is that book in a nutshell. Just the feeling, just the feeling in the way they skate together. Iconic, made me love it more. The TikToks are great. The book is wonderful. So I gotta pick another book, but I don't know what I'm gonna pick yet, but I feel like I should pick one before I go to work. I'm gonna keep watching The Bachelor and when I pick the book, I'll let you know. Okay, I am back. I have worked, I have slayed. We are currently reading now Almond. This was on my March TBR, so that's why I picked it. And it's also super, super short and I haven't been too interested in. Okay, I say I'm not interested in the books that I've been picking up, but then I read them and I love them. But I don't know, it's been hard to be like, oh, I wanna pick out this book and read it. Anyway, so I got to about page 93. In this book, we are following, what's his name? Yun Jae, who lives with his mom and his grandma, and he, something's wrong with his brain where he can't process emotions. Like, it's just not a thing. Like, he doesn't understand happy or sad or empathy, like anything, like just, it's not there. It's not in his brain. So his mom spent like his whole childhood teaching him how he should respond to emotions and all this stuff. But then something tragic has happened to his mom and his grandma, which leaves him on his own. That has just happened in the part where I am. So I'm almost about halfway through. It's super, super short. I'm liking it so far. It's very interesting because our narrator doesn't have any emotions. He's very interesting. It's a cool book so far. We're gonna keep going. Hey, it's been a minute since I've checked up. I have done my nightly routine. I took a bath. I read in the bath. It was phenomenal. Um, we're still reading Almond, Avi, and we are currently at page 179. So I have about 80 pages left. What I'm thinking is let's finish another book. I didn't mean to finish that other book yesterday. And I definitely didn't mean to start this one today and then also finish it today. I don't know, what else am I gonna do? Do the dishes? Mm -mm -mm. Let's finish a book. Good morning. It is now Wednesday morning. I did indeed 
finished Almond last night. I'm gonna hold this here so you don't see the label of my work shirt. I liked this book. It was very interesting. I liked the characters. I liked the way the story was told. It's very hard to explain because so much happens in such a shorty little book. It's really well written. I really liked it. I had a good time. I did rate it a three only because, I don't know, it was so short that I just like feel like I could have wanted more. I was definitely entertained. I definitely liked the characters. The story was really well written and everything. Okay, I have something I want to talk about with you guys and let me know if you think it's a good idea. I'm at currently, I think 78, 79 subscribers, which by the way, thanks guys. You make my day so happy. I'm excited. I keep having this idea that when I reach 100 subscribers, I want to do uh, a 24 hour readathon, which you may have seen on the booktube recently. A lot of people have been doing them for like years and they are like some of my favorite videos to watch. I just think it would be a cool idea to do it for when I get 100 subscribers because that would be so much fun. And then you guys can watch me lose my mind while I read. Anyway, so Monday we finished a book. Tuesday we finished a book. It's Wednesday. I do work a lot today, so I don't think we're going to finish a book, but we're definitely going to start a book. It is Wednesday, March the 29th. We've got three more days in March. We'll pick out our book and we'll read that today. And we'll talk about it today because that's our reading vlog. I'll see you a little bit later. I think I've picked my next read and it's only because I can't stop staring at it. It's just like up here and I'm like, looking at it, it's giving me the look. So I think I wanna read Kiss of the Selkie by Tassanja Odette, the third book in the Entangled with Faye series. Um, I think this one's supposed to be like a Little Mermaid retelling and um, Beauty and the Beast and The Little Mermaid are like my favorite princess movies. Love them, they're my faves. We have Maisie. I don't know, we're gonna read a little and then I think I'll tell you my thoughts. Oh my God, my bagel just bumped so aggressively. <laughs> We have book mail and it's also started to snow. Disgusting. Well, let's open my little mail. We love mail. Ooh. I already know what it is, but. We have Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Garver. Look how pretty the pink spot is. Oh my God. I'm gonna die. I heard about this. I'll talk more about the book later, but I'm in between my jobs right now. So I just thought I'd quickly show you me opening my package of Once Upon a Broken Heart. I'm excited. Excuse the lighting. It's dark out because it's nighttime, but I just wanted to give it a very, very quick update. Uh, I did not read a lot today because it is a busy work day. I got to page. 78 of Kiss of the Selkie by Tassanja Odette. It's cool. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. It's hard to describe. Nothing, not too much has happened. This is a Little Mermaid retelling. And so far, the retelling part is basically like, we've met the lady who's going to be like the sea witch. We've met who the prince person is because she saved him. But I don't know. I don't know. My thoughts are weird because all I keep thinking about is Once Upon a Broken Heart and all I want to read is this but I committed to reading this and I don't know what to do. <laughs> so I don't wanna abandon this book, but it's so 464 pages, which is not too bad. Honestly, that's probably like a basic book that I read, but I think it's because I wanna read this one so badly that in my brain, this seems like it's gonna take forever. I don't know, we'll keep reading this. We'll see how we feel. We'll see where we go. Yeah, that's that. <laughs> It's sunny. Happy Wednesday. I only work in the morning today, so that's pretty good. Um, I did not read any more of Kiss of the Selkie last night because I was exhausted, tired girl. But today I've got like a good portion of the afternoon off. So I'll keep reading that, see how I'm liking it. Ooh, my bagel popped. <laughs> and then if I'm not into it, I think I'll probably put it down and come back to it later after I read Once Upon a Broken Heart because that's all I want to read right now. Like, that's all I want to read. So maybe I should just do that to begin with. But happy Wednesday.
there you are there you guys are Hey guys, I'm gonna give you the quickest of quickest little updates because it is Thursday and I have not talked to you at all today. I showed you how it looked this morning and I did not talk to you since. I have not read at all. I've read nothing. I feel kind of slumpy is how I'm feeling. I don't know why, I just don't wanna pick up the book. Right now I'm gonna do a lot of editing tonight is what I think I'm going to do and then let's see if we read. But right now, currently reading Kiss of the Selkie and I'm sure it's great. I just don't feel like reading it. So I may put that down and try something else. That may be the plan. Let's see. I missed him. <laughs> morning babes it's friday um <laughs> it is so incredibly rainy and gross out today i forgot to tell you i did give up on kiss of the selkie because i was like i do not want to effing read this we are reading once upon a broken heart about 120 pages in and here's the thing i devour stephanie garber it just like bloop, 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 done so far i'm really liking it um it's getting really fast really quick since i read the carnival trilogy i know who evangeline is now like I, i'm like oh i remember that from the previous books so that was really cool to figure out we also have jacks we have their little deal with the kisses and i'm not even gonna lie when jacks appeared on the page i did start crying a little Saturday. Today is the day off, so we're probably gonna get some reading done. I got to page chapter 34, page 232. We are about 55% through the book, which makes me nervous because I ordered the second one and it didn't come in yet. I think I'm just liking it because I really like Evangeline as a character. She's very, believes in like fairy tales and happy ever afters and like all that sort of stuff, which is a very different protagonist than we had in the Carnival trilogy. And any little glimpse I get at Jax, I'm very happy. I hear he's in the second one more. So I want to get to the second one. I think I'm going to bunker down in bed. It is not laid out as you can see it's still pretty bright bunker down in bed we're gonna listen to some dark academia reading books in the farmhouse on autumn days even though it's springtime and we are going to keep reading let's find a broken heart I was kind of like, okay, plot's happening, blah, blah, blah. And then we get to this one place. And we just get to the scene that I just read. It's after page 3.30, so I'm just finished 3.30. If you know, you know. It is like the best scene. I have about 70 pages left. I would really love to finish this book tonight. So let's see. Sunday, the last day of our reading vlog here. So I think I'm going to end the vlog here because we finished three books. There's no point in continuing. That's pretty good. We've also, it's now April 2nd. We are now into April. So I have indeed finished one book in April so far, which is splendid. Finished Once Upon a Broken Heart by Stephanie Carver, which by the way, we're kind of matching today. Very cute. I rated Once Upon a Broken Heart a four out of five stars. It just wasn't, it didn't meet my expectations. 
I still loved it. I still loved the plot. I still was gasping. I still was like, <gasps> oh, <gasps> like freaking out. I was still loving it. It just wasn't as, as I was expecting, but I still loved it. It's still four out of five. I'm very excited to read the next one. That is all for today's video. In this reading vlog, we read Once Upon a Broken Heart, we read Almond, and we also finished. I really don't remember. <laughs> From Luck Off With Love. That's the other one we finished. Pink, pink books. We've read pink books this week. If you enjoyed today's reading vlog, make sure to give it a like, some comments, make sure to subscribe for more fun content from me. Um, I also just wanna make sure that you guys all have a great day. Give lots of love, give lots of kisses, and just have the best day ever. Bye guys.